Hi, this is Emilio from Digital Byte Computing. So this guide is going to go over the steps on how to install Windows Server 2012 R2 onto your Mac. We'll be using an app called Bootcamp Assistant that's on the latest uh, Mac OS or a few earlier versions. So to ensure that you do have this software installed, just go into your spotlight on the top right and type in Bootcamp. All right, and there we go. It's already shown up, Bootcamp Assistant. So we'll open that up. If you don't have this application on your Mac, you can go and download it for free from the Apple website. So we're assuming that you've already got Bootcamp installed and you've got a fairly new new Mac as well, and that you've got a either a Windows installer uh, disk via like a DVD or a CD, or you've got a Windows ISO. This demonstration is gonna go through how to install Windows with the ISO version, all right, which I've downloaded from the Microsoft uh, MSDN website, which may not mean much to you, but I've got an ISO. Either way, continue. Now, what we wanna do is I'm gonna create a Windows 7 or later version install this. Now, because I'm using an ISO, this is why I have to do this, okay? If you've already got a, um, a, a CD, for example, then you don't have to do this. You can just untick that and then just go and install Windows 7 or later version. Now, uh, regardless of the version of Windows, even if like this is for Windows 7, we're not going to be using Windows 7, obviously, um, but the process is the same for you know another version of Windows uh, either way. So... We're going to click on this. Now, also, the second option here is to download the latest Windows software from Apple. So what this will do is uh, when, you, when you have your Windows installed, you'll have to install the drivers for all of your Mac hardware. Otherwise, your Mac hardware isn't going to work correctly. So ensure that that is ticked as well, and then we're good to go. So regardless of the option, if you have this unticked, just click on Next, uh, Continue, and then it'll follow the next prompt. In my case, I'm going to click on this because I want to create an ISO, uh, like a disk from my ISO. So I'll select continue. It's going to ask me to select my ISO where I'm going to select it from and then select a drive where I want to put that ISO. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So we've selected the ISO for Server 2012 R2 that I had. Uh, and then select your destination disk, which is my uh, just a, a disk that I've put in there, uh, a USB stick uh, that will install the Server 2012 software onto this drive so that I can actually boot from it and install it onto my Mac. So from there, we click on continue. Say so continue to all the data being erased and then let it do its thing. So this will let you install it without the CD. But again, as I said, if you do have the original CD DVD, you can skip this skip this step and just go straight into the install that we saw on the on the part just before. The next step is to partition the hard drive. So what we do on this part is you've got your Mac partition and then you're going to give a part of that hard drive to Windows. Okay, so we're going to give it, let's say, uh, well, it's up to you. You have to determine how big, uh, how much storage you want, how big you want the hard drive to be. So let's just say just for this demonstration, we'll just do 40 gigabytes, okay? So after that partition is finished, your Mac should restart automatically. Now assuming that you've got the USB stick with your Windows Server 2012 installed, plugged in, it should boot. If it doesn't boot, uh, ensure that you don't have any other USB sticks connected to your computer because that can cause issues. Uh, if it doesn't boot up for whatever reason as well, you can always hold down the option key on your Mac keyboard when your computer restarts and you hear the, uh, the chime at the very start of your Mac, uh, and then you can select the USB disk if it doesn't pop up automatically. All right, and then the steps from there is just a basic install. You select your language, your currency, etc., and you click on Next. All right, you're gonna put in your product key and click on Next. 
Click on your edition. So we're going to do 2012 standard with GUI and follow the prompts. Agree your license terms. And now here is where we select the partition that we had just uh, formatted on the Mac. In this case, it'll be partition three, boot camp. Okay. And we want to click on drive options. Okay, because you'll see that next is grayed out. The reason is that it's not, it's not being formatted in the format that Windows likes. So we need to go into drive options and we're going to format and okay. So that's going to now format the partition so that Windows can read it and now click on next. And that is now going to start the install process. It will take a bit of time. It's going to copy the Windows files and do a whole bunch of other things that it needs to do. And then you should boot into your server 2012 environment. So your Windows install will now be complete. Uh, so you would have seen that your Mac has restarted a few times while it's continuing the install process. It'll then present you to the screen where you have to put in your admin password and then to the control or delete screen. Now, generally your Mac won't have a control or delete uh, option on your Mac keyboard, even if you click on the function. And that's generally because you haven't installed any of the Windows drivers yet. So what you can do, is on the bottom left corner, click on this little icon and click on on-screen keyboard, control, alt, delete. We'll do the same option, all right? and then you put in your password. So this is now going to begin your Windows install uh, of your drivers. So remember that we did create a USB stick with all of the drivers just in case, but this should do it as well. If this for whatever reason does not pop up, then use the USB stick that we created earlier for your drivers. So in this case, we just follow the installs, Accept the license and OK. So this is now going to start to install all of your hardware drivers for your Mac so that your Windows Server 2012 can actually uh, activate all of your hardware correctly and use it how it needs to be used. So that is essentially it. So once this is finished, your Windows install will be complete, uh, which is fantastic. The next thing, what, what you'll notice is that your Mac will restart automatically now on your Windows install. So we're going to look over how to change that once this is finished. So once that install is finished, your Mac will restart as normal and will boot into your server 2012, uh, throw in your password and then you're good to go. So that has now logged in. So what we're going to do now is going to show you quickly how to change the um, default boot uh, uh, like where, where your Mac boots by default, whether into your Windows Server or whether into your Mac OS Yosemite. So to do that, you just go into, uh, where well you can go into Control Panel. So you can bottom right, you can just do a search for Control Panel. I like to just go into small icons. And what you'll find is in here, you've got an icon called Boot Camp, which has been installed. Select that. It's going to give you the two options, system to use to start up your computer, Mac OS or Boot Camp. So by default, it's on Boot Camp. We'll select Mac OS HD OS X, click OK. So what that's going to do now is every time your Mac now starts, it's going to boot into your Mac by default. Likewise, you'll find that inside system preferences on your Mac, you'll also now have an icon called Boot Camp with the same options as what you see here. So you'll be able to do the same thing there as well. So that is essentially it. Uh, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Digital Byte Computing, and you can also visit my website, www.digitalbytecomputing.com. Thanks for watching.